You're going to start with a half of a circle, as round as you can make it, and then about halfway, and S-shaped is going to be the lip of the shell. Almost like a yin-yang symbol, but not. Very S-shaped and curvy, and there's no angles on this. This was the character all the way back in the first Super Mario Brothers that um, that cloud riding guy would throw it at you. I think he had green glasses on or something. Okay, now I'm going to draw a line going straight through the middle. Well, if it was the middle. Just to help me line up the spikes and his head and things like that. So he's tucked back here in his shell. Defensive. He's got... Um, Pretty big angry eyes as well, so just sketch these in uh, pretty lightly. Give him a few eyeballs. And his face is real simple, it's just uh, kind of a round nose. Not much to it. Yeah, the guy that throws these out at you, I think his name, uh, what is it? Sounds like Lakita. That's that hotel with those weird commercials. No, I can't remember the real name. Lakita, it's not it. Whatever. So we give him some turtle-ish feet. The front two feet come out a lot further than the back two feet. Got a tiny tail sticking out and the back foot barely poking out of the shell. Put in his front leg with three toes, little claw toes. I'll put a PDF in the description. There should be a link if you look down on the description. You could print this out. One thing I used to do as a kid is I would uh, tape uh, pictures to the window and then uh, tape another piece of paper on top of that and trace, practice tracing. Tracing is really helpful for learning how to draw. You get used to drawing curves, so don't feel bad about tracing. Do it all the time. So yeah, if you tape, uh, tape what you want to trace to a window and put your paper over it, you make your own light table. That's if it's daytime anyway. So it's uh, really helpful. I remember doing that a lot. So he's got one big spike in the middle, right over the line, and then two matching on the left and the right. And he's got another spike down the line. The rest of the spikes are going to be hidden by the shell and just kind of barely poking out there. All right, that's it for the sketching. Now we can fill it in. I'm going to speed this footage up a bit. Right now I'm using a fine line marker for all of these uh, tiny bits here. Now, the quality of the paper you use really will make a difference. So if you get a porous paper, a thin paper, your markers will bleed. You won't have nice crisp lines. Um, but if you buy a thicker, higher quality paper with a nicer finish, uh, if you're using a pen, it will be you'll have crisper lines. It's good to have a variety 
of markers and sizes. What's nice about drawing is it's pretty cheap. It really doesn't cost you much and it's a lot of fun. Now down in here in the shell, I'm going to fill in a lot of the shadows, make them kind of round to make them round into each other. Get it real thick because it's going to be real dark under here when we color it in. You'd be surprised how quickly you improve when you carry around a sketchbook and you just draw all the time. It doesn't matter what it is, just copy what you see and have fun. I know it's hard because you always think, oh, I'm not good enough, I hate my pictures. At least that's what I used to think. You know, I, I was kind of happy with a lot of the artwork that I did, but I could always see where I wanted it to be better. And I always saw people who were much better than me. But it doesn't really matter if people are better than you because you keep improving. And uh, even if you just look back at what you were drawing one year ago, usually you're going to see a pretty big difference. I'm just using Prismacolor pencils, colored pencils. And you can actually blend the colors pretty easily to make them look really nice and soft. Get a good gradient. And I often go over it with a white to smooth things out. To change colors of a colored pencil, you want to put down the main color first and then either add dark or add light because... You kind of got one shot to, to alter the color to bend it either darker or lighter. You can't just keep going over with different color, color pencils and change the color. I think the guy's name is Lakitas? Lakitas? Lakita is the hotel. Lakitas. Kitas is the guy who's throwing. I wonder what's the deal with that guy. If there's any story behind him or why he's, you know. Usually these all these characters are from other stuff. Adding a little bit of shading to the spikes. Just a little soft gray. Soft gray around the lip of the shell. I don't know how old Mario is, but I, I know he got his start in Donkey Kong. But I'm sure Mario was developed somewhere earlier. Then there was a game called Mario Brothers, which was just one screen, and Mario and Luigi would jump on crabs, turtles, and some other junk. And little fireballs would come out of the side. So it's kind of interesting. You see all the elements in the uh, first Mario, Brother Mario Brothers game that then they would later put in Super Mario Brothers. The shadow on the lip of the shell is brighter again when it gets to the bottom. and You can do a lot of uh, cool shading effects if you learn about reflective light. You know, the, So the light coming off the ground is again lighting him back up underneath. Maybe I'll do a video on shading. Now I'm going to really darken him up with a dark brown. Get a lot of the shadows there. A little bit on the eyes. Don't forget to print out the uh, page in the description and you can draw along and keep practicing. Have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.